this is Janice. I'm gonna go over how to make wine goblets today and I'd like to toast you all for the new year. So cheers and I'm gonna be pretty brief. There are quite a few steps here and I don't want the video to run too long but I hope you enjoy and thank you to all my cyber friends for tuning in. Here's what we're in for. We'll start with the base. I have a half pound of white stoneware here. So with this half pound, I'm going to do a three inch wide base, about an inch and a half wide at the top, and five and a half inches high, somewhere in that ballpark. That's the plan at least. Open it all the way to the bottom, all the way to the bat, no bottom in this. is high right now so I don't really need to get it much higher a good attachment point to the goblet. I'm going to steady the top while I use this rib. Get some of the slurry off. I'm going to use this rib. It's made out of fired clay. I made this myself. I'm going to use this to put in some marks up the stem. Come in here. Fold up that base. Smooth that out. Now for the cup. I have a half pound of clay here. Er, have three quarters of a pound of clay here. This is the same white stoneware that I did the stem with. This guy I'm going to trim the bottom completely round on. So I'm really going to focus on the inside shape of this and know that I'm going to be trimming the outside to the shape that I want the outside to be. Three quarters of a pound. I'm not going to leave the bottom particularly thick, 
just enough for me to trim. going to focus on keeping the inside of this cup nice and round. And keep in mind, you guys, this is going to shrink. It may look like it would hold an awful lot of wine right now, but the finished product should be just about right. Put a swirl on the bottom, on the inside. Take off, clean up the bottom. The thing I like to do on my rims is to taper them. It's a lot easier to drink out of than a really thick rim. So I taper it so that it's not quite as thick at the very tip where it's going to touch your mouth. Also, a slightly outward curve hug, hugs your lip, makes it really pleasant to drink out of. A couple things to think about there. Okay, first I'm going to go ahead and hand trim the bottom of the stem. And I have this really sweet X-Acto knife. It's got a curved blade on it. I really like to use this one. So just gonna get in here by hand. Lighten that up a little bit. Okay, so for the cup, I'm looking at the inside and I have a mirror across from my wheel. It's behind the camera, you guys can't see it. So I can look up and see the shape of the outside and I can look in and see the shape of the inside. So I know that I wanna bring this down and just by judging by eye, I'm only gonna take a little bit off the very bottom.
flat sponge. Lead tools rib. Magic water. You can use slip, whatever you want. Those two are joined pretty well. Get my stamp. And there we go. Yeah, who wants some wine? <laughs> 